You know, sometimes teams just find the right guys to win games and sell tickets. They don't always have to be the most talented, but they do have to have chemistry, charisma, and a common goal. So that brings me to the question, what in the world is going on in Cleveland? Is it new name, new me? I mean, I mean, what is this? This has been an exciting season for a team that we grew up watching fictional movies about. First, it's the Stephen Kwong show. The rookie shows Adam breaks a bunch of records. Then he hit his first career home run the other day. And now Josh Naylor becomes the first player with eight RBI in the eighth inning or later in a baseball game. Now, if you missed the game on Monday, the Guardians were down 8-2 to two against the White Sox, but rallied all the way back thanks to some heroics from Josh Naylor. With two outs, Naylor hit a tying grand slam in the ninth inning to force extra innings. Then he hit another home run. So I feel sorry for any fantasy baseballers who may have taken Naylor out of the lineup before Monday's game because the baseball looked like a beach ball to him in those final innings. He led the charge for the Guardians to storm back to win the game and in the White Sox six-game win streak. Now, I made a video the other day talking about the Mets' amazing comeback in the ninth inning and how you can't turn a game off early as a fan because you just never know in baseball. And that has just became true again thanks to Naylor and the Guardians. You know how you used to be on the playground and the kid was impressing everyone by doing backflips out of the swing? And then another kid came along and showed he could jump out the swing further than anybody else. Well, that second kid is who Cleveland is in this situation. It just seemed like the Guardians didn't want the Mets fans to have all the spotlight. Obviously, the Guardians rally isn't to the same stature as New York's rally, but it's still incredible, especially because it was led by a comeback story like Josh Naylor. He was a great prospect out of high school, but then got traded a few times. And last season, Naylor fractured his leg in multiple places after running into Andre Clement in the outfield. And at the time, it was like one of those injuries that was career-threatening. But he's come back as a stronger player. Naylor is hitting his career best with a batting average of .338. He's hitting the ball more across the entire field and posting career highs and solid contact percentage. Look, Naylor got some slack for his reaction after his final home run on Monday. But can you really blame the guy? Especially after everything he's been through. The last thing he needed was some fans chirping at him. So I'm glad he showed up in the moment and... Now he has his first multiple home run game. Look, the Guardians are second in the American League Central, behind the Minnesota Twins, and seventh in the league. So they're in a good place with just under 30 games played. And they're not only a good team, with Stephen Kwam and Josh Naylor, they're also a fun one because they have guys with charisma, chemistry, and a common goal. This early into the season, you can't ask for much more. Thanks for watching this video. If you made it this far, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I have a podcast called Rip Jersey. Follow that, add it to your playlist, listen to it wherever you can. Thanks for watching again. Peace.